On the 8th of January 1942, a little boy was born into a family of physicians. Being born in an educated house, education was mandatory for him. As fate would have it, the little boy wasn't interested in studying at all. He found the usual school subjects quite boring. At school, he was an average student. and was not able to read properly until he was 8 he would rather spend time outside observing the working of various things than sitting at a desk and memorizing words or formulae despite his average performance he was curious and was nicknamed einstein by his classmates there was something about him that teachers recognized They knew there was a hidden genius deep inside. At 17, being naturally gifted, he was soon admitted to Oxford University to study physics and chemistry. Despite getting into such a prestigious university, he had the same thoughts. He still did not find the idea of classroom teaching very appealing. He even found his academic work ridiculously easy. When everything was going well, the boy was diagnosed with motor neuron disease, an uncommon condition that affects the brain and nerves, decreasing the person's life expectancy. This took a toll on his mental health. He became depressed. being so young filled with dreams and passion having infinite potential and yet being given the date of your death does many things to you the boy was just 21 when he was told he would die in the next two years wanting to make an impact on the world he realized he did not have much time As he focused on studies and research work, he gradually started losing his speech and was almost unable to walk without any support. In a New York Times interview, he stated, "My expectations were reduced to zero when I was 21. Everything since then has been a bonus." Nicknamed Einstein, the author of the brief history of time one of the 21st century's most brilliant physicist cosmologist and author stephen william hawking has come a long way nothing that happened to stephen physically stopped him from achieving what he had always dreamt of inventions and discoveries in the field of quantum physics While he was doing his research work, Stephen once stated, "The victim should have the right to end his life if he wants, but I think it would be a great mistake. However bad life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. While there is life, there is hope." Hawking even married and had 3 children since he knew his time on earth was limited. Meanwhile he wrote books and continued his research on black holes. Hawking dedicated the last of his life working on his theories and publishing his papers on black holes. Hawking once said, "Although I cannot move and I have to speak through a computer, in my mind I am free." Hawking's disability could not stop him from achieving his dreams. What is stopping you? In your life be curious keep up the spark of curiosity when you are curious you find lots of interesting things start where you are use what you have do what you can remember pain is pain broken is broken but the time you have with you is golden So decide carefully what to do with the time that is given to you. 
even Stephen Hawking quoted, Remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. Try to make sense of what you see and wonder about what makes the universe exist. Be curious and however difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. It matters that you don't just give up. Therefore, don't give up. Always stay strong. Stay motivated. Stay blessed. Jai Hind!